Welcome back to another Music Gear Monday. I'm Carl Carell, and today we're hopping right into it in the control room. We're talking about software, but software with the hardware feel. This is by a company called Arturia, and actually one of my favorite companies to work with. They have a ton of amazing virtual instruments that have a lot of control to them and feel like you own the real physical thing. I started out with them with a program called Mini Lab that came with a little MIDI controller and then worked my way over to Analog Lab, which is their condensed version of pretty much all of their virtual instruments in one area. Recently, I downloaded the V Collection, so Arturia's V Collection 8, which is about 24 virtual instruments, vintage instruments, vintage synths, say vintage synths five times fast, tongue twister. Basically, about two dozen virtual instruments that sound amazing and have a really dope analog look and feel to them, and we're going to hop in that today and check out these instruments. We're not going to go super into detail because that would be a super extra long video but I will link some videos in the description below that go into way more detail about what every instrument is what it does all that good stuff so let's hop into it and let's check out some of our first instruments here in this Arturia V collection this is Analog Lab 5, the latest version of Analog Lab, which is, again, the condensed version of all of their virtual instruments kind of put into one place. So you get a little taste of pretty much every virtual instrument that they have in the V Collection. And again, I would say that's the biggest difference between Analog Lab and the V Collection is that you're getting a condensed version of all of these different instruments in one place. And and a bunch of presets and user presets from the people at Arturia. It kind of gives you a little test drive of what a lot of these instruments can do. So that's kind of like getting your feet wet with all of their virtual instruments. So all of these instruments from the ARP 2600 all the way down to the Whirly are the V Collection. ARP 2600 is a sequencer. <laughs> Tons of different sequence options, key options. And you're able to actually physically move patches around on these controllers. So you can get really, really crazy with the routing. And the great thing about Arturia software is that you get the feel of having the physical instrument. And I think that is kind of the key to a lot of VSTs. The B3 organ. <laughs> ton of presets, templates, uh, where you can kind of save your own as well. The Butchla or Buckla, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but this is a really cool instrument <laughs> that has some really, really cool stuff when it comes to routing. <laughs> really cool if you want to get into patching and sequencing there's also some different tutorials that'll show you some different concepts when it comes to patching the clavinet the cool thing about a lot of these keys they come with pedals and amps very funky so there's a lot of really cool patches inside of this keyboard here but you can also tweak it out add some of these different effects we got the cmv which is sort of like an old school sampler a lot of these instruments were ridiculously expensive back in the day too and that's another reason why very sought after at some point very unique instruments <laughs> You
you can actually go into the screen, into each parameter. You can chop the sample up. You can edit it. I believe you can even bring in your own samples. Sequencer, mixer, tune mapping for your keys. We're not even halfway through. We've got the CS80. Very, very cool sounds. And such a cool interface. The interface alone is just very impressive. The Arturia CZ. You can also go in here and really tweak out your own sounds. Tailor them, tailor them how you like them. The DX7, it's the famous Yamaha. Very smooth. You've got the Emulator 2, which is another uh, sampler instrument. Bunch of old school drum kits in there. The Farfisa, or Farfsa, not sure how to pronounce that one either, but this one is a really cool one. I've used this one before. The June 6. Now this is a very popular one because it's based off of the Juno, which is a super popular keyboard and very, very hard to find right now. If you are finding them, they're going for a pretty penny on eBay. <laughs> But this one is known for its chorus effect, known for its different brass type sounds. Very heavy with R&B music, this, this keyboard is. Um, you have the Jupiter 8, which is based off of the Jupiter V, another very classic synth to have. <laughs> These are another one that are kind of hard to find as well. Matrix 12 V. All of these synths have really, really cool sounds depending on what you're using them for. We're almost halfway through. We've got the Mellotron, which I love this little interface. It's so cool. So vintage looking. I mean, you even have the little nicks on the keys. And yes, the Mellotron is what they use on Strawberry Fields. And so this is based off of a very popular Moog. Really, really dope synth. Behringer actually just made a physical version of this synth. The Model D is what it's called. Very nostalgic sounds, I would say. Lots of cool sounds in here. There's a lot of really sub basses, a lot of punchy synths. The modular V. And again, you can get really crazy with, you know, patching on this synth. Very cool. So the OBXA 
It's another one I haven't had a chance to really mess around with. And then you have the piano. So this is a ton of different styles of piano. So you have grands, you have uprights, you have everything. And the cool thing in this program is that you can move the mics around to different areas if you want to. I want to mic it like a player piano or classic or studio or whatever. Very, very cool that you can actually do that. And you can actually hear the difference. That's pretty sweet. Tons of pianos to choose from in this instrument. Then you have the Prophet, very, very popular keyboard, very expensive keyboard. The Sem V2, this is another one I haven't really messed around with yet. I can really see somebody going to town on that though. Solana V2. Stage 73, suitcase piano, which looks like it's based off of the Fender Rhodes. Very smooth. You've got the Sin Clavier. The synth V. I'm going to have to do a separate video where I actually dive into a couple of these, maybe make some different patches. The vocoder. So this vocoder actually is a really cool one. I've been using this one a lot. You can actually send your audio in. So you can go to voice input and then you can select your microphone, which is really cool. But for now, we look at the samples here. And so a lot of really cool presets already right off the bat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so the vocoder is really cool. The Vox Continental. So another organ. All right, the Vox Continental. And then last one is the Whirly, the Whirly V. And I've actually used this instrument probably the most. What a fun sound. So that is all 27 of the instruments you get when you purchase the V collection. So yeah, as you can see, 27 different instruments. And when you think about it like cost, so if we do a cost breakdown, just one of those instruments, for example, if we were to look up how much a Juno costs or how much a Jupiter costs, the price of just that one synth is going to outweigh the cost of this entire oh, 
collection. They've done a lot of research, they've done a lot of work trying to get a very similar result as one of these physical instruments. And the fact that you get to actually see it, see the knobs, see the keys, see the buttons, and it's not just digital text on a screen that you're playing on a MIDI controller, that is kind of the plus to using some of these different Arturia plugins. That makes it a little more fun and a little bit more authentic. But that's it. That's all that is in that V collection. Again, if you are looking to, you know, level up some of your VSTs, look for some unique sounds, design some unique sounds, or really dive into some of these instruments, I highly recommend checking out Analog Lab, actually, a great gateway into owning some of these synths, trying out this entire line of virtual instruments and kind of going from there. And it's a lot cheaper, actually. Analog Lab, I believe, is about $100, $200. The V Collection is about $500. So a little bit of a difference there in price. But again, well worth it. It's a kind of a, a cool way to keep your studio with you if you are into vintage synths again. That's going to be it for Music Gear Monday this week. Again, join us over on Clubhouse. We'll be there 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time as well as over on Twitch, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time to keep the conversation going and keep this list of VSTs actually growing. So if you want to be part of that, make sure to hop in the conversation. Until next week, I'm Carl Carell. Peace.